Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to a video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Voyager Class Motor Master. As you can see, his upper mode is a semi truck, which is very cool. He has a repaint and an extensive retool of Optimus Prime from the same line, and all in all, he's not too bad. So, yeah, um, now, of course, in the original G1 cartoon, or the show, and the actual toy, he actually, uh, the actual G1 toy actually transformed uh, into a long, like a semi truck with a trailer attachment that, well, if you know what I'm saying, he basically turned into a truck, a tractor trailer. So, meaning that he basically didn't require a, um, a, a detachment, much like Optimus. So, that is. Pretty cool. Unfortunately, here you don't see that. Though I'm hearing that they might do a, a trailer. Third-party companies may make a third, uh, like a trailer extension for Motormaster. So yeah, pretty cool. He comes with a couple accessories, and we'll take them off here to show you, and we'll talk about Motormaster in a bit. But these are the accessories. He has this nice little gun and his nice little sword. They will combine to form a big sword for Menasaur when we get to him. But yeah, all in all, Menasaur are not too bad. Primary colors mostly are gray. Does have some black, does have some purple, some silver for the front, uh, some yellow for the headlights, some gold. The, the headlights look very menacing and just furious. It's like, because Motor Master personality, he just basically wants to run everyone over. Um, and it does have a tiny Decepticon logo on the front of the grill. Now, I say extensive retool because the front's different. He has the wind vanes, um, some panel lines, um, and design-wise, just it feels a different figure, but has the exact same transformation, but with an additional step. And we'll get to that in a minute. But first, I'll be back here. Sorry guys, um, but yeah, sorry if I'm talking soft, I'm just big day reviewing this. So yeah, just for the fun of it, here is Motormaster with the stunt cons, minus Wild Rider slash Breakneck. So as you can see, they're very cool, oh, and I forgot to include Blackjack, so yeah, pretty cool, I think they're very interesting motor master obviously he's the dominant one because he's the leader of the stunticons so man <laughs> that's gonna keep me intrigued about the stunticons when they not the stunticons the constructicons when they come out with scrapper and mix master in them all so yeah it will be quite a journey let's just say so i'm just putting away the or not putting away i'm putting aside the Stunticons for the next video, so... Yeah. Alright. So yeah, Motor Master, pretty cool. Not too bad. Um, so transformation for this guy is, um, well, has for an, initial, for an initial step. First you want to do, flip forward the wind vanes, and then the rest of it is exactly the same as before with Optimus. So, once again, I'm not going to go into the detail of the transformation, and I know I've been doing this recently in my videos, but like I say, if you want to take a look at the actual transformation, like a detailed version, well, I mean, take a look at the original figure. So, yeah, that's situated. And the crotch is a lot different than Metasaur's crotch is a lot different than Ultra Prime, so. And the Decepticon logo is just laying there because it doesn't split. I wish it did. Um, and the last little bit is just the same thing with Optimus. I like this head reveal. Transformation is pretty cool. 
But there you go, there's Motor Master in his robot mode, and my goodness, he is one stocky guy. And yes, in Transformers Devastation, as I mentioned in the Transformers Devastation video, you get to um, face him a couple times, chase him down, uh, fight him in the final battle, and then you have to fight Minasaur like five times. So, <laughs> and there, and one time you have to face both Minasaur and Devastator at the same time. So. That's pretty crazy. Articulation wise, that is exactly the same, but <coughs> Motor Master has more head posability a little bit than an Optimus, so. So, yeah. And yes, mine has the tighter ratchets because the, the old Prime videos you saw had the loose ones, so this is technically a, a re release of. Uh, a re release. Of motor mass here, which is still like a my fix. So if we take a look at his head here, like oh, there we go. Take a look at his head. It is very interesting, very homage to the motor master um, original motor master figure, which is pretty cool. And man, his his face is so menacing, and he does have a Decepticon logo right on his chest where my finger was pointing at. His weapons, you can give him his gun. So that's a bonus. Um, and then his little mini sword. You can pretty much do the same with that. So yeah, and sometimes it's a little easier said than done because it doesn't always want to fit for some reason. So. For the sake of time, I'm not going to even, even, can I fit in the back? I'm going to give that a try. Actually, you can. He's meant to hold it like this, like a dagger, like a backwards dagger, so I'll leave it like that. Man, Motor Master. This toy, or this figure, fits his personality very well with his character, much like in the G1 cartoon and the Devastation video game, so... Even though you get to see him like for a couple of times and you fight him a couple times. Anyways, all in all, will I recommend getting Motor Master? I'm going to say yes. He's a very cool figure. If you want to complete the Decepticons, much like I did, chances are you're going to get him. He's a very, very fine looking figure. The detail is so cool. And honestly, I think this figure needs to be an extensive retool of Nemesis Prime. Yes, I know of Sweet saw in the video game that Optimus, yeah, like this has to, this has to come here. We need to have a Nemesis Prime. In fact, I don't think we've had a Nemesis Prime out in, like, in the US Canada since Transformers Armada, which is crazy. Or the Universe 2008 uh, toy line. But regardless, I think this is a very cool figure. I don't think you'll be disappointed by him one bit. Uh, just be careful of the ratchet joints on your on the hips. Mileage may vary, as they say. But all in all, he's not too bad. So yeah, now the next video, guys, we will be taking a look at Menasaur. Uh, with all the Stunticons, I will be showing you how the transformation will stack down. So yeah, stay tuned for that, and you'll be amazed. So yeah, that's my video review of the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars. Voyager class motor master. I'll see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible for my next video. And yeah, so take your Susan, have your day, and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.